Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Ramesh. This is Michael from the 7 Set System to pass the TOEFL IBT. So let's take a look at your email question and then I'll try to answer you as best I can. So you say, let me tell you, however, that I find reading section a bit difficult. Psychologically, I get pressurized by the TOEFL environment and that affects my speed, comprehension and performance. And in the end, don't get the desired, the desired results. Another problem is how to solve the test paper. If I do, which I always do, attacking from question 1 to 13, then in that case, I don't get adequate time to solve the later important questions, and then the accuracy is affected. Alter alternately, if I differently, then I'm afraid to lose some important questions without attempting. So how to attempt should be made to maximize the marks. I wonder, have I explained my problem correctly? As a student, several pressures are acting at the same time and how to cope with the situation satisfactorily. Well, you, you got some good questions here. Is the reading section, there's a few things that are going to make it difficult for you. Is Number one is timing, is making sure you're answering the questions as quickly as possible. The next thing is concentration, is making sure that you can focus on reading the questions and find the information in the reading passages. And the third factor, which is important, is your comprehension. Making sure that you can read something quickly and then you can remember and understand it and use that information uh, to answer some questions. So it is. It's, it's kind of difficult and I agree with you. There's a lot of pressures that are acting on you as a student. And my answer to this is, there's an old saying that says, if you prepare, you will not fear. So the best thing you can do is to prepare yourself, to over-prepare yourself for the reading section of the TOEFL. So when you get on the TOEFL test itself, it won't seem so difficult. You won't feel like you have so many pressures from so many different questions. So what do you do? You do what you're doing. You build your vocabulary, Ramesh. You make sure you have a good knowledge of basic and advanced vocabulary. And that's exactly what you get in step one of my seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. You'll notice, Ramesh, in lesson three and four, especially lesson three, there's actually some reading passages in there for you. There's some grammar practice. There's listening practice. There's matching. There's fill-in-the-blank exercises. There's a lot of practice in there to help you master the words you're studying. Make sure you learn all 1,700 vocabulary words. This is very, very important. You need to have a very good vocabulary base. Having said that, let's go to the next thing. The next thing that you want to do to help relieve the pressure of the TOEFL test to make it easier for you is you need to practice reading extensively for about 45 minutes every day for six months. Read magazines, newspapers, you can read things like the Wall Street Journal, the LA Times, the New York Times. These newspapers have college level vocabulary and it really helps you learn to concentrate uh, in the new language. So read a lot. Reading makes it much, much easier for you when you take the TOEFL test. Now, the third thing you got to do is, is you need to increase your reading speed. You need to be able to read faster because the faster you can read, the quicker you can find the information in the reading passages that help you answer the questions that you see during the TOEFL IBT reading section. So what should you do? Go to my lesson. Uh, my reading step and under my reading step I have a series of speed reading tests designed to take you from 100 words a minute I haven't quite finished them all but I'm up to I think 255 words a minute and I'm going to complete these practice tests to take you to 350 words per minute I'm telling you Ramesh if you can improve your reading speed and you can read at least 250 words a minute and you have about 80% comprehension on my reading practice tests, 
I think you'll have a lot less stress during the reading section because it makes it that much easier for you to find the information in the reading passage that answers the questions. Right? So the last thing you want to do is make sure you understand the TOEFL IBT question types. For example, you were telling me about this in your email. Some of the questions near the end of a reading passage involve filling out charts and completing tables. These questions are worth more than one point. They might be two or three point questions. So you have to be very, very good at understanding how to answer those kinds of questions because if you understand how to answer them, you'll know that it involves uh, your summarizing abilities. Now other types of questions are like infer rhetorical purpose, others are vocabulary questions, some of them are implied detail questions, and Ramesh, it's very important for you to understand two things, how to identify the question, and then where in the reading passage you can find that information. Now of course, my TOEFL IBT question types, these are in my reading step, and I think it begins with TOEFL reading lesson two, three, and four. You'll notice I have several lessons to help you uh, in that specific area. So that's what I would recommend there. Okay, so let me recap what I just said. To help relieve the pressure and the stress, I'm saying that you need to really, really over prepare yourself as a reader of English. And you do that by building your vocabulary, you do it by reading extensively every day. You do it by understanding the question types and increasing your reading speed. If you can do these four things and do these four things well, I think that the TOEFL won't be nearly as stressful for you as it is right now. So those are my basic recommendations. Now, when you're actually taking the TOEFL test itself, uh, my own opinion is is to look at each question, not the answers, but look at the question, identify some key words, then go into the reading passage and find that information. I do not advise you to read the entire passage first. That typically takes you too much time. Now if you want, you can read the first and last line of each paragraph if you want to just get an overall idea of what the passage is about before you look at the questions. Now the next thing is if you finish the reading passage before time is up and you've answered those questions before the time is up, take a break. Before going to the next reading passage, trust me, you will need this break because people get really tired as they get two or three hours into the test. So if you take some breaks during the reading section between the reading passages, it'll make it that much easier for you to complete the entire test um, as a whole. Now there is one thing you should take a look at, maybe one last thing, and I'll, I'll stop talking to you right now, but I think it's under, um, under my seven-step system, there is a lesson I think you should probably take a look at. Uh, where is it here? I think it's under the grammar steps. Yeah, here. Go to grammar lesson number five, and there's some TOEFL tips from Tadu, uh, who scored 109 out of 120. And I think you'll find in that particular lesson, Ramesh, she has some really good tips on what to do during the reading section. So here's somebody who scored really, really high, and I think if you follow some of her tips, it'll it'll uh, make it easier for you. And I'll give you a hint. She encourages, and I support uh, her idea that you should take notes during the reading section of the test. That's very, very important, and you can learn more about that by going to grammar lesson number five. Alrighty, anyway, thank you for contacting me and asking your question, and uh, I hope that I've given you some good ideas to relieve some of the stress and pressure that you feel when you're taking the test. So, uh, alright, bye-bye.